In this demonstration, we're going to cover SPM's Realign tool. Now in this drop-down menu right here, you have both Realign and Realigned and Unwarp options. If you have field maps which allow you to do unwarping, then you can use them in Realign and Unwarp. For now though, we're only going to focus on Realign. So what this will do is it will take images within each run and it will align them to the first run or the first image of that run. And then all images from each run will be aligned to the first volume of the first run. So here we have a couple of different options available. One is just estimating the motion parameters we need to motion correct all of these different images in case they have moved or gotten out of alignment somewhere during the scan. Reslicing is the next step in which all these different volumes are then resliced or reoriented to match a reference image. In this case, the first image of each run. So to do both, you can do estimate and reslice. And within this, double click on it to open up the data option. Click new session, and within here, specify files. So remember the output from the slice time correction was AR01.nii. So I'm only going to select that file, and I'm only going to select frames 1 through 165. In other words, all the files available. So that all looks good. I'm going to go ahead, select all, and click done. Now the rest of these are fine as defaults, but if you want slightly higher quality interpolation and reslicing, you can use a higher order spline. So within both estimation options and reslice options, there's an interpolation option where you can specify a higher degree spline if you want. It takes slightly longer, but it's a slightly better interpolation method. After you're done with all that, go ahead, click run, and it will run the realign and Reslice. You can see that in the progress window down here. After estimation and reslicing is done, you'll see an output of the image realignment here. So first of all, there are translation parameters which estimate how much each image deviated from the first image in the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Likewise, you can also see displacement in the pitch, roll, and yaw directions. A good rule of thumb is if there's any subject who has more than a voxel's worth of motion, they should probably be discarded. So that's how you run realignment within the SPM graphical user interface. And in the next tutorial, we'll be covering how to run it from the command line using the SPM realign and SPM reslice commands.